a small wonder of the Caribbean, an unspoiled beauty known for its mountainous splendor, lovely beaches, and some of the friendliest people in the West Indies. These are some of the praises showcased and captured on a new website developed by the Grenada Board of Tourism. The new website, which copped the prestigious award for number one destinational website in the Caribbean, was presented by the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association to an official of the Grenada Board of Tourism at the 2012 Caribbean Marketplace. The website captures Grenada's varied and absorbing past, as seen in Carib Indian artifacts, ancient stone wall forts and sugar mills, and old plantation estate homes, added to the modern day activities and beauty. The man behind this website is designer Orlando Romain. The award highlights the website's ability to effectively market the destination um, and highlight the island's unique selling points. Um, it also emphasizes the website's ability to um, ease user navigation. It's pretty much a, a website that is easy to navigate. Um, it has a lot of functionality built into it. Romaine was given the full backing of the team at the Board of Tourism, who at the time was led by director Simon Steele. He says they worked very hard to develop and maintain the site. That has actually been um, taking place over a number of years. Um, more recently, the focus has been on increasing the usability and the user friendliness of the site and um, getting a lot more content, interest in relevant content to visitors, potential visitors. So a lot of work um, is going into that right now and will continue to so that we can maintain our position as the number one destinational um, website. But it means that we have the most effective tool that we can to reach out to as many potential visitors as possible. Another member of the team is Public Relations Officer of the BOT, Edwin Frank. We've continued to be very proactive in getting persons on board regarding the environment. How do we keep it clean, for example? How do we allow for visitors to leave Grenada satisfied that they got what was promised? And basically, a lot of that level of gratification has to do with how the taxi drivers or the vendors, the water taxi operators, the people with various um, shops and stores and other activities that are part of that spice experience. How do they deliver? How do they relate to the visitors? And how do they make them feel welcome? And how, in fact, will they be able to ensure that they, upon departing Grenada, would feel that need, that desire to tell others about it. The pure beauty of Grenada is captured on the website, beginning with its rich history, from the time of the Arawaks, Caribs and Sibony Indians who journeyed to the island by canoe from South America. The island's legacy was later influenced by Christopher Columbus, who made his first landing in 1498. Between 1609 and 1783, the Isles was handed back and forth between the warring English and French. However, Grenada was clearly most subjective by its French past. The island's vocabulary today is richly showered with French words and names for its villages, local fruits, vegetables and island flora and fauna. Former Minister of Tourism Honorable Peter David says the success of the island should continue to be promoted through mediums such as the internet. One of the major challenges we face in our tourism industry is marketing and uh, you know the, the, the electronic uh, type of marketing now, the websites, the, uh, you know, the social media. We as, as, as a tourist board, as a Ministry of Tourism, as a country must move in that direction to do more of that. So the fact that the website is now being designated and given the award of the best website in the Caribbean is, is, is great for us because it means that more people are going to look at it. The more people look at it, the more people travel, the more people travel to Grenada, the more we, the economy benefits. The island achieved its independence in 1974 from Britain and today, with help from the Board of Tourism, Simple Spice Vendors, Tour Operators and the Ministry of Tourism, the country's thriving success has attracted many foreigners from all over the globe, arriving to savor Grenada's intriguing Caribbean flavor. Three of the vendors responsible for upkeeping the country's natural law operate in the newly reconstructed vendors market in the capital city of St. George.
I think they were upset with problem with Grenada in a big way because everything is the internet and things that that's um, modern, you know. Now with all the modern technology, with the website and internet and so, so it's supposed to be able to do some good for tourism. I'm glad to know that they get an award for the tourism and um, what I want them to do is to do, if they could continue doing more, let them do more and promote the country more about tourism and even Granitang, if they could do something more about it, you know, so the people interested to go up the big... Other Caribbean don't have these types of things that we could offer here. We have nice bridges, we have nice waterfall, we have... So they must continue coming to look at what we have. They are very beautiful and very beautiful ladies in this island. We are very promoting, we're industrial. We make a lot of different things here. We are industrious. So send them come to look for us. Grenada's hidden grandeur was also recognized in a recent online publication of the U.S. television news station MSNBC.com, a popular wedding honeymoon magazine, ValerieWilsonTravel.com, and WSETV well-known One Caribbean news and weather broadcast. Anchor and weather forecaster of One Caribbean News, Cara Coleman, visited the island and had much to say about its exquisiteness. I think Grenada has so much that you can just go on and on and on about the beaches, the mountains. Uh, I think the Spice Basket does an excellent job of getting you a little immersed in the culture and the history. And that was something that we really wanted to see, but we weren't really sure how to do that or where to see that. And I think the Spice Basket is the perfect place uh, for tourists to go to. Something that also stood out for us was Grenada is not over commercialized. So if you've been to the other islands and you know, you've seen it, you've, it's a great place to go and relax. But I think this, uh, this island offers a little something more. It kind of has it all. It has that beach destination, but it also has uh, and beyond. Grenada's underwater sculpture park and the statues created by Jason Decatur's Taylor were also featured in a special edition of the National Geographic magazine entitled Wonders of the World, Earth's Most Awesome Places, compiling of photographs in the categories of air, earth and sea. The underwater sculptures appeared amongst household names such as the Great Barrier Reef of Australia, the Victoria Falls of Zambia, Zimbabwe, and the Machu Picchu of Peru. Ms. Coleman aptly describes Grenada as a petite island, bulky with energy, passion, and spice. Gina Landrews, CC6 Newsnight.